everyone, it's Pearl, and today I'm going to show you a way to organize and display your girl's hair accessories beautifully, inexpensively, and so that they're easy to get to without tumbling. Welcome back to my channel today. Thank you so much for being here. Today's video is a collaboration with Christina from the DIY Mommy and a few other channels here on YouTube. For this challenge, we were asked to do a DIY that would help us with organization. The DIY Mommy holds this challenge every season and this is my first time participating. So I'm super excited because I've been working through the KonMari method, but I wasn't liking the way I had organized my girl's hair things. They were just in a box, in a drawer, and I would have to rifle through them um, in order to find what I needed. So I took to Pinterest for some inspiration and I put together this DIY that not only allowed the girls to see what they have but also allows them to get it quickly and put it back easily. It makes getting ready faster and less frustrating. Plus it was inexpensive to make. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do home and lifestyle ideas and tips simply and affordably. I live with my hubby and three kids in a 900 square foot home, so you'll see a lot of small space organization, as well as tips to make a life more simple and more joyful. So if you wanna see more, go ahead and click on the subscribe icon below. And while you're at it, Click on the bell icon beside it and you'll be the first to know about my latest videos. Make sure to check out Christina's channel. I'll have it linked below. She does all kinds of DIYs for the home and don't forget to check out the playlist also be linked below to get more organization inspiration. Having said all that, let's get started. So I'm starting with this decorative wall hook from Dollarama and it comes with the hooks at the back. Start by attaching your hooks onto the shelf. Now just Put your hooks on. So here I'm going to use my screwdriver and that will allow me to grip my handle. Then using some ribbon from the dollar, Dollarama again, I measured it out by putting, placing it against the wall and just seeing the length that I needed. Next, I'm going to just cut it. So I've cut two of the same length. These will be for one of my daughter's clips. And for this one, I'll be going to my sewing machine, or if you have a glue gun, you can do this next step with your glue gun, or needle and thread would be stronger. But because I have a sewing machine, I'm going to do this with the sewing machine because it makes it more sturdier. Next, make loops to incorporate your widest size headband and so you can measure it out so about two to three inches and that's going to incorporate a wide headband and also the thinner ones. Give it a mark where you'd like to stitch it on both sides of the ribbon and then give it a stitch. And there you have a loop for your headband. And it will hang like this. So go ahead and make that all the way down your ribbon and you can just average your length or measure it as you go. So once you have all your strands that you 
are going to be using that you need for your hair things. You're just going to glue the ribbon about one inch of the ribbon onto the back of your wall plaque. Now this is where um, I realized that I probably should have waited to the end to put the hooks on um, just so that it was would be easier to work with but I still worked around it and did just find fine with it. And for this part, be careful not to burn your fingers. If you do have something that you can press the ribbon down in uh, with, I would go ahead and do that. So here I'm just going to use my pencil just to um, get it to come down a little. And don't worry about it being neat because this is going to be at the back, of course. So repeat that for the rest of your strands, putting them however you like it. So I'm putting the headband ones on the outside um, just so they have a little bit more room to hang. And then uh, the ones that are going to hold the clips are going to be in the middle. I did mark it off. Um, if you can see here, I did mark off where I wanted the ribbon. So. Um, just a rough estimate um, and for that you can either measure it but I just eyeballed it. Here is the finished organizer. I think it came out super cute and I can't wait to organize my girls hair accessories inside of them. So here is the finished product all organized as you can see everything is beautifully displayed and now my daughters can see what they have and get to them quickly and easily. There is extra loops in case we want to add headbands to their collection. Here on the hooks I just hung their hair ties on a carabiner that had a key ring attached to it and hung that on the hooks. I think this came out super cute. It does make getting ready for the girls easier in the morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comment box below what you thought of this DIY hair accessories organizer. Again, make sure to watch the playlist for some more organization inspiration. The link will be in the description box below. Thank you, Christina, for hosting this challenge. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you again in my next video. Toodles! What do you think? It's perfect. Do you like it? Yes. Yeah.